everybody, it's Johnny Snow back in the building. And yes, my gun man has done it again. I done picked up something else, all right? This right here is a Rock Island VRF 14. Yeah, VRF 14. This one right here is the VRPA 40. VRPA 40. And I done chopped the stock and called myself making a bird's eye with bird's head with this one, but Eh, we'll see how this works out. I haven't taken it to the range and actually shot it yet. But uh, on to what this video is really about. All right. About this VRF-14. This is the unboxing. Let me go ahead and open this thing up. Booyah. There we go. Comes with a magazine. And this is the five-round magazine. I also have the nine round all right and it comes with an extra spring on it all right and lock and all this good stuff in here and charging handle which i do know goes right there all right so let's go ahead and pull this thing out the box see what we're working with all right so here we go we have the VRF-14, uh, this is a 12-gauge weapon. A 12-gauge weapon, mag-fed, and does not have a removable grip on it. Does not, it has this little weird thing in the back, but we're getting rid of that. We're getting rid of that. And let's see. All right, this is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Um, here, let me go ahead and put this. 10 rounder in it so we can get a good look at it and uh, this is the uh, rock island buffer bolt system and the spring is up here and it's automatic automatic and uh i mean it's it's pretty cool i like how it feels i can't wait to get it to the range and i can't wait to see what i can do this you know and matter of fact you know when i got this gun a lot of videos that I looked at said that you cannot put a brace or anything on this gun because they do not make anything for it. And I'm like, nah, that can't be the case. That can't be the case. So, you know, I did a little research and boom, check this out. I want y'all to look at this. This is a buffer tube and a folding, folding device, buffer tube and folding device. Let's go ahead and See if the rumors were true that you cannot put anything on this gun. All right, so this comes out, and yeah, there's a screw right there. Get that screw out of there, and as you see, you put said screw in here. All right, and slide it on in screw that on down and now the gun that you could not put a pistol brace on this gun actually has a folder now a side folder now so I have a brace coming from Kane Arms. From Kane Arms, that's what we're gonna put on this. And that's gonna start the customization process of this gun. That's gonna start the customization process of this gun. Putting, uh, putting this on here when every video on YouTube says you couldn't. Well, there's the proof right there. They do make them. You can put them on there and you can put a brace on this weapon. All right, so like I said, this is just a quick unboxing, quick unboxing, let you guys see a little bit of what I'm about to do to this thing, uh, which really I haven't shown you anything yet, but you know, this is the beginning. This is the beginning. So like, subscribe, so you can follow and see the journey I'm about to take this thing on and Yo, hit that like and subscribe and Johnny Snow up, eyes.